Good morning, friends. This is the second book by Ruth Heller. We read the first one yesterday, Chickens Aren't the Only Ones. This one is called Animals Born Alive and Well. Mammals are animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and breathe fresh air. These don't lay eggs except these two. These are the only two who do, spiny anteater and duckbill platypus. They don't lay eggs, as I have said. They're born alive and well instead. Sometimes a mammal's hair is scant as on the thick-skinned elephant. But here's a pair with hair. A Pekingese and a Yorkshire Terrier. And here are lots with stripes and spots. A ring-tailed lemur, a zebra, an okakapi, a tiger, a leopard, a cloud leopard, a giraffe. See how the cloud leopard's spots look like clouds? That was a good way to name that animal, don't you think? And these have scales and spikes like nails, but all of them are mammals. The nine-banded armadillo, the three-banded armadillo, the pangolin, and the porcupine. So are camels, and like all the others, they are nourished by their mothers. See, there's the baby getting milk from his mother. This kind of camel is called a dromedary. Mammals wild, like the gazelle. And what's this one? That's a stoat. And there's a deer. And mammals tame. All more or less do the same. Look, there's the mama cat feeding her babies. Marsupials are different, but they are mammals too. When they are very, very small and to their mother's pouch, they crawl and grow just like this kangaroo. Koalas are marsupials too. Can you say marsupials? That's a fun word to say. It makes your mouth happy. Mammals all breathe air, you understand. This isn't hard for those on land. Look at all these animals who breathe air. The moose, the mandrel, the panda, the guinea pig, the kangaroo rat, the rhinoceros, the aardvark, the weasel, the hare, the squirrel, the red fox, the giant anteater, the bison, the fallow deer. Oop, I'm not holding on the page there. What else? The 
wild goat? A hippopotamus and a prairie dog. This isn't hard for those on land or even those found underground. See the mole and the shrew mole? They all live underground. You know, you can tell that they're there when you go in your backyard and you feel like a little bump and it's hollow, so they've dug a tunnel under your yard. Look around for that. Or those who fly. Would you have guessed that a bat is a mammal and breathes air? and is born alive and well. Or climb up high. Look at all these. A marmoset, a tarsier, a gibbon, a baboon, a spider monkey. There's another gibbon. A sloth, a bush baby. Hmm. But mammals living in the sea have to surface frequently. Look at that sperm whale, the walrus, the seal, the sea otter, a dolphin. Oh, there's a porpoise, a manatee, and a narwhal. I love that narwhal's horn looks just like a unicorn, but it lives underwater. So all of those mammals that live in the sea have to leap out of the ocean in order to breathe. The porpoise, whale, and manatee have their babies in the sea. This one's a humpback whale. And there's the manatee. I saw some manatees once living near a power station in Florida. It was nice and warm in the water right there. The walrus, seal, and otter prefer to leave the water to have their babies. There's the otter. There's a walrus seal and a walrus. When I was in Mexico, I saw an elephant seal and he made a very loud noise. It sounded kind of like a timpani, which is a kind of a drum, very hollow sound beautiful and scary. These are prehistoric, but they were mammals too. Their names are very long indeed and may be very hard to read. Gomphotherium, Glyptodont, Macrauchenia, and Baluchitherium. I'm not an expert on that. If you find a better way to pronounce those names, you let me know. The largest mammal is the blue whale. The smallest is the shrew. Look how big that whale is. Some people call the blue whale Leviathan. People, just like me or you, all of us are mammals too. Aren't they just beautiful? There's no more to discuss. 
everyone who's born alive is viviparous. There's the cheetah, <gasps> the lion, the sheep, the horse. Oh, the hedgehog and the taper. When Critter Caravan comes to visit Five Mile River Nursery School, they always bring a hedgehog. He looks like he wouldn't be good to touch, but he's really quite soft. Winter, spring, summer, fall, a hare's hair changes with them all. So today, when you go in your backyard, look for creatures that are oviparous, who lay eggs, or viviparous, who are mammals, like squirrels or chipmunks. See you next time.